All right, today, scrappers, I'm gonna be scrapping this. This is the business end out of a rear projection television. I had a friend give me this to scrap. Um, he asked me if I wanted to scrap his uh, rear projection, his big TV. It was like a 55 inch, expensive, like a thousand dollar TV. I said, is that the one with the base full of cement? And he said, yes, and I told him no. But he bashed it all apart and threw all the wood in his fire pit. And uh, he gave me the business end out of it. And I'll scrap this, I guess. Um, there was some other circuit boards. They're in the other garage still. And there was a power supply also. But we're gonna scrap this. I noticed right off the bat, we got cast aluminum and these heat sinks. But to help mitigate the heat, they're full of oil. So I haven't quite made my mind up. There is a lot of aluminum here. So we'll just, uh, What is the current scrap price of cast aluminum? Here is information from Iron Mike Scrap Metal Services' website. We got 40 cents a pound, 30 cents a pound. So there might be a couple dollars worth of aluminum sitting there. So I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. But let's start. Ugh, quite heavy. Turn the scale on. Let's see how much this weighs. Free scrap weight. We got 37 and a quarter pounds. Quite heavy. And we got some copper. These are three different cathode ray tubes, CRTs, pretty much. And we got a, a red one, a green one, and a blue one, RGB. Something I've always, always, always wanted to do is these are made using three different mirrors. And this usually shines straight up. And there's a mirror here and a mirror down bottom at an angle and another mirror on the back wall which shines it to the screen. I've always wanted to take the screen out and just let it bounce off of two mirrors and adjust the angles and adjust the focus. And I've always wanted to turn one of these into a outdoor projector because these suckers are bright. And you can have a outdoor movie theater quality like you would not believe. Cheap too. But, uh, let's start getting some of this copper off of here. Lots of sharp edges here. I'm seeing some nice yummy copper. And we got some copper bearing circuit boards. These usually just pull off. <clears throat> There we go, they just plug in. That was quite difficult to get off, actually. Get this one screw out. This has been sitting in that other garage over there for years. And that's not gonna come out. Can't take it out, break it out. Not sure what is in this. I think I'm going to call this whole thing copper bearing. Now, these brass. Not going to go into full depth on scrapping this one. I kind of want to do it quickly. But well, we got a lot of brass ends here. And something you should always be aware on CRTs is they have something called a flyback. It's not on this. It would be on the power supply, but it can hold quite a bit of power and that would be stored in these knobs here. You wanna be careful scrapping them, make sure they've been unplugged for a while. So I got some copper bearing. I'll just get some of this number two insulated out of the way here quickly. See how quick I can scrap this. Something I always try to do. I always try to keep the, the length of the videos down. I don't want to leave anything out. We got some transistors. I'm going to test and see if they got copper in the center. Yes, they do. We got some number two copper there.
more number two copper. There's another one here. And this ring, non-magnetic stainless. Turn the scanner down. Another transistor. Like I said, that is non-magnetic stainless. I'm just gonna leave it on there for extra weight. Make the board a little heavier. I don't really have a pile for non-magnetic stainless yet. I like to save the more the more precious metals and not waste so much time with less precious metals. But by all means, do save and separate your own stainless steel, non-magnetic stainless. Got some extruded aluminum. Copper bearing board. Lots of number two insulated. Now, a lot of times I don't cut wires, I try to unplug them. These are more like, these are so dull. These don't even cut anyways. Eh, I, I kind of cut and rip or squeeze and rip. Well, don't worry about breaking your boards because this is gonna get crushed and bailed anyways. I had somebody comment in a video once that those boards are worthless now because I broke them. But they're gonna crush this and bail this anyways. Not waste my time with those. There's some number two copper on that transistor. This one as well. This one as well. I almost lost that. Got it. We have some copper bearing board. Another chunk of extruded aluminum. Another transistor. So that little plate, that little metal plate in there, that's copper. Number two copper. And these pins slide out of the extruded aluminum. Now it's called extruded aluminum because it's extruded through a form, kind of like a Play-Doh Fun Factory. This was extruded through all at once, probably as a big long strip, and then it was cut off in lengths. Extruded aluminum. And we got one more piece of extruded aluminum. You guys liking the videos? You're learning a lot? I'm always learning. Always learning something new. Oh, look at that. That came out easy. Can't forget my transistors. Those other little baby ones can stay. Uh, copper bearing board. Get some more number two insulator to get out of the way.
these wires, these are the ones that are hooked up to the flyback. Big, powerful pickup coil. High current. Definitely powerful enough to stop your heart. So make sure you let the flyback sit for a while so it will discharge. But this has been sitting for years and there is no flyback attached. So I'm 100% safe. Got some plastic. These just pull off. They're attached on like a, a clip, like a suction cup. Kind of like a, like a spark plug terminal in a car. I usually try to pull them. Nope, they're getting cut this time. It's a good way to describe them. They attach kind of like a spark plug in a car. They just press on. Now I'm not sure if the oil is on this side of the bulb. I think that's going to be full of air or a vacuum. Negative atmospheric pressure. We're ready for a flip. Now for the fun, messy part. Safety squints. You can usually break them here. There we go. You hear a little puff? That was air going in. And there is um, some yucky hazardous chemicals in there. Where are my cutters? There's some nice yummy copper in here. And this piece in here, this pulls out, usually does. That's non-magnetic stainless. There's a lot more of it down in there. This usually just pulls out. This I'm gonna throw in the trash barrel. Right now I'm gonna throw this in the tin bucket. to that in a minute and I'm gonna get these other two off the same way now we got glass here so you definitely want to protect your hands I'm gonna give this a trash barrel dump And should I throw this in my scrap trailer just the way it is? Or should I try to get this aluminum out? Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. Um, I have this up. Hopefully I'm not going to make an oil mess right away. I'm going to try one side. As I said, oily mess. Get my oil can ready. And we'll collect as much of this as we can. Ah, uh, she's gurgling pretty good. I wonder if my can's gonna be big enough for all of it. And this oil, I have a large receptacle in the other garage.
that I'll be dumping this into, and this will get recycled. All right, that's most of it. This is the red bulb. I'm going to tip it up now. Look, a spider! I scrapped your home. Pretty. That's where the uh look at that cool lens. That's heavy. That's uh steel. Tin bucket. Look how burnt that looks from all the heat. How discolored it is. more oil. How many more do I got? Oh, that's pretty heavy. There's still a bunch of crap stuff to it. How am I gonna... Alright, I want to get... Some more garbage. One thing I love about scrapping... Makes your hands strong. Got some tin for the tin bucket. And I'm dripping oil on my floor. That's all of them. holding this in. Is it pressed in? Is it glued in? Not seeing any screws. It's quite heavy. Well, if you can't take it apart, break it apart. And it was just stuck to a rubber gasket. So maybe the next one, I can get a flathead underneath it. Wow, that's a pretty good chunk of uh, cast aluminum there. Let's see how much the scale goes up. Two pounds? So, I think I'm going to take these other ones apart, or maybe I'll see if I can do this quickly. Yeah, we can. We always, we always go as quick as we can here. Drain the oil first. We'll do one at a time. Under the arm. 
I'm gonna have a full can of oil when I'm done. Gurgling. It was gurgling pretty good there. Oh yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna have enough room in that can to do the uh, the next one. Now if I didn't scrap this and properly drain that oil, this would end up getting buried in a landfill somewhere and just be pollution forever. But now the metals can get reclaimed and recycled and this oil can get recycled. And it looks like the center one doesn't have that much oil in it. That's quite a bit of oil. A whole coffee can full. Could have had a whole coffee can full of oil that didn't end up polluting the environment. Blindly scrapping screws. Another hunk of tin. And this lens comes out. Probably could have did that first. Always try to go as fast as I possibly can. Try to keep the video short. Plus it's good entertainment. This I'm gonna lean. We still get an accurate weight somehow, somewhat. I'm going to stand over barrel, so don't do too much dripping. All right, it's getting hard to hold on to now. Lost a couple screws. It's almost look like muffler, muffler bolts or exhaust bolts for a vehicle. Now, let's see if this will pry. Get some screws out first. And I think I still have some of those bolts that I dropped in the bottom of the barrel. Now let's see if I can get this one to pry out nicely. No, we're 
we're gonna have to break it. Yep. Cause after years and years of being super hot, all those years with all that heat, that rubber's melted right on there. Thirteen point three two. Fifteen. So they're two pounds. Two pounds each. Let's see if I can hold this one. I lost my grip on the last one. Mr. Spider, you're about to find a new home here. You can go live over here. Live over here now, Mr. Spider. Lots of sharp edges here. Don't be dumb, protect your thumb, right? Looks like we're just about done. We're up to 18 pounds. All these screws too. Now for the good part. I left the wires attached because it kind of gives you something to hang on to. But this you can just break apart. This ferrite donut. Copper comes right off the ferrite. I always try to get as much as I can. This is what we're in it for. We're in it for the copper. Do believe that's blood. Do believe that's blood poking through. Some more number two copper. Doesn't even hurt. This ferrite. This right here for my magnet go. Uh oh. I bet it's stuck to something here. You look at that right there. That's ferrite. That can go in your tin bucket. It's pretty brittle. It usually just breaks. And the same with this plastic. Brittle, it just breaks. Number two, copper. Just like that. Some number two insulated, a little bit more number two copper on here. I wonder if I should get a better pair of cutters one of these days. And 
And this video will have to be continued later. Because I'm running late for something. Alright. It's the next day now. That's interesting. My scale's been on for like a full day and it still kept the weight. Then it shut off on its own like it always does. So I guess if I got weight on the scale, it'll stay on. Um, this cup, that was actually very deep. And I am so glad that this wasn't fully connected all the way up to there. I didn't even know I was bleeding until I looked down and saw the glove. But uh, just goes to show you guys, you got to protect your hands. Don't be dumb. Be dumb like me. So where were we? Pretty much right where we left off. Got some uh, number two insulated here. Some uh, copper bearing circuit board. That looks like it would be pretty difficult to get out of there. Maybe I can quickly zip these screws out. Try one of them. Let's see if I can get that little copper plate out of there. I did. Got some copper bearing circuit board. Some more number two copper. You see that is copper inside of that transistor. And wow, nice little chunk of copper I got. Didn't even realize that. It's got some weight to it. More number two copper. Easily breaks apart. This piece here, non-magnetic stainless. I'm just gonna throw it in my tin bucket. I have it started off. I don't come across non-magnetic stainless that often. There we go. But well, this is all non-magnetic non-magnetic stainless right here. This will go right in your stainless bucket. This is a good stainless. And this, that's pretty much garbage. There ain't much on there. Other scraps of tin. Copper out of this. Do as much as I can at least. Do try to go quickly. Time is money, and if it isn't worth your time, then to me it isn't worth it. If something takes too long, it's not worth scrapping. Copper. So far, looking like this was definitely worth scrapping. Number two insulated, I'm gonna leave this little piece of board right on there, it'll make it a little tiny bit heavier. Turn the scanner down again. Who needs, who needs cutters? Quite a decent scrap load out of this. Oh, 
One more to go. I don't want to get cut again. I'm going to throw this in the tin bucket because there's quite a bit of uh, steel in here or stainless. And this ferrite breaks apart quite easily. I might throw these extra little scraps in my copper bearing bucket just because they're going to be too, too time consuming to get all of it. It's almost time for the tally up. Let's see how much we got. Some number two insulated. This is looking pretty good. There's a lot of little bits of ferrite here. I'm going to throw all this in my 10 bucket. We don't need to put it all on the scale, but I will be picking this all up with a magnet and putting it in the bucket. A little bit more, a few more pieces of copper here to clean up. But that wasn't too bad. Spend a little time, make a little money. Or like I do, I'll be using this copper as an investment. I'll be putting it in the buckets, converting it into bars in the future. Look at that, 20 pounds. So let's start with the tin and stuff. We got a rough, I'll just throw some of this on there. This is quite heavy. And I will, of course, go through this with a magnet and get all of it. So, for tin, we got this is quite heavy. And I'll bring the bucket right over. the copper it was 11 and a half pounds of tin and a cast aluminum five pounds of cast aluminum can't beat that that goes in the cast aluminum copper bearing board a pound and a quarter of copper bearing board Three quarters of a pound of number two insulated. Almost put it in the wrong bucket. And this extruded aluminum isn't even going to register. A tenth of a pound. 
Now I'm just going to throw these in the tin bucket. But there is some uh, non-magnetic stainless here. Extruded aluminum. Keep it separate from your cast and your sheet aluminum. Now for the good stuff. The copper. Another little piece of steel here. Oh, look at it all. Hour oh, over a pound. Oh, my precious. Look at that. Oh, it doesn't get any better than that, boys. So, all together, pound and a quarter. Number two copper. So look at that, guys. That wasn't too bad. A few minutes worth of work. Make a few extra bucks. Oh, look at these purple screws. Anodizing. I guess that's what it is. Wonder what they anodized them with. Oh, look at that. Easy enough. Just remember, scrap is everywhere. All you gotta do is find it, sort it, and hoard it. So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.